Good evening once again and thank you for joining me, Dominic Mashikele, for the headlines at 10. Nampawa employees in Ventuk held a peaceful demonstration this afternoon demanding salary increases and benefits. Initially, the workers wanted a 13% hike on wages, a 25% increase on housing allowances and $450 as transport allowance for those who do not use company transport. However, after negotiations between the company management and union representatives, the workers agreed on an 11% salary increase. But Nampawa is adamant that it can only offer a 7% increase for both wages and housing allowances. Namibians living in the United States of America have been urged to use the opportunity to study and return home to help develop the country. The call was made by President Ifikepunye Pohamba, who met the Namibian community living in that country on Saturday at the end of his United Nations program. The reception took place at the residence of the Namibian ambassador to the UN, Wilfred Mvula. And in business news, a local economist has predicted that the local financial industry would continue to show healthy growth despite an anticipated global recession. John Stakler believes that the industry is shielded as a result of its low exposure to global fiscal factors. Stakler was speaking at one day insurance industry conference yesterday. Presenting an overview of the national economy, Stakler observed that the financial sector performs strongly and added that Namibia was classified as a banking-based country due to the sector's good performance over the years. In news from beyond our borders, the head of South Africa's germ warfare program during the apartheid era is fighting to retain his license to continue practicing medicine. Voter Basson is charged with manufacturing illegal drugs in the 1980s and early 1990s, some of which were allegedly used on state prisoners. Basson is charged with professional misconduct by the Health Professional Council of South Africa. The man dubbed Dr. Death escaped a criminal conviction in 2002, arguing that he had acted under orders of the South African Defence Force. And in sports news... Former Namibian champion Polis the Hitman Moses has been invited to fight for an interim WBA lightweight title in Panama City on the 22nd of next month. But the fight against Florida-based American Cuban boxer Richard Abril, who is rated number three and having a record of 19 wins, two losses and one draw, might not take place. According to news related to Nestor Tobias by the world-renowned USA boxing promoter Don King yesterday, the winner of the fight will become a full WBA interim lightweight champion. But Tobias does not seem to agree with the time frame of the fight because his boxer needs a rest after going the full distance in last weekend's fight against Brazilian boxer Sidney Siqueira. That's all we had for you tonight. From all of us here in Studio One, it's good night.